Hey guys, myself Rakesh and today we are going to learn how do you change the date time format in Python. How do you really change the date time format? Generally, you might get it in US format or maybe year, month, date format. How about you changing it to date, month and year? Is it possible? Is it possible to change in Python? Yes, of course. So how to do that? Let's learn it from this video. Before we get started, uh, I would request you guys to please do support me uh, by subscribing to my channel. Please do, uh, you know, please do help me by subscribing. I hope you have already done that. So let's get started and understand how do you really change the date time format. First of all, in the previous couple of videos, I have informed you just to, um, you know, to get a date time. What you do, you will import the date time module from python and in the previous video i have shown you where do you find this date time dot py file and how do you access this module i have shown in the previous video now let's get a little advanced and try to understand few more things so what we have done we have created an object called x is equal to date time i'm creating object i'm using the module name and then i'm going to say date okay date time is the class and then i am going to uh, use something called now so but just by doing this what is the what is the output that we get if i say print and if i say x right so what is the output uh, that i'm expecting from this one i'm expecting this kind of output so it is saying year then it's saying month and it's saying the date and then it is giving the hour you know hour in 24 hour format right 11 am 47 minutes 44 seconds and this is the milliseconds or microseconds so this much we know um okay now how do i change the format now to change the format there is something called strip time okay using strip time i can do that so there are a couple of things first of all let me type something okay so that you understand how this one is coming if i type percentage a what is happening it is saying tuesday so this date what we had got a few minutes back you know i mean today's date is tuesday it is saying okay great so how how you get what would happen if i write percentage d if I run this, what's happening? It's saying 12th. It's saying 12th is today's date. So how do I really get all this? Uh, there has to be something, right, where I can refer and learn because it's not very easy to remember everything, right? So how do I, where is the place where I can really refer? There is something called docs.python, okay? So we'll go to documents from Python and we will try to refer that, okay? So what you do, uh, simply type uh, date, date, time format python in google okay hit on enter now uh, from this date time format um, you know i'm going to select the python page give it few seconds it's taking a little time to open okay Let me type it again. Python date time format. Okay. So here you would find something called docs python dot org. Okay. Just open this specific page. All right. Now here there are a couple of things that you should uh, understand. What you do here? Simply do a control F and uh, type let's say percentage A. I am typing hit on enter or simply type percentage and percentage a let's say and then scroll down okay so it will show you in the third or fourth result you know somewhere at the bottom of the page you find all the syntaxes available okay so let, let, let this will be pretty interesting we'll go one by one okay not everything we are going to test but few things so the first interest will be how do i get in date month and year format okay for that all i have to do read through this list and there is something called percentage d what this means day of the month as a zero padded decimal number so 0, 01 0, 02 until 31 it is going to show me so let me use percentage d so let me go back to my pie charm and here i am going to say percentage d okay i have written that then i want to put a dash it's up to you okay or you can give a space let's say I'm, i want to give a space up to you how would you like to do it now i would need a month month as a zero padded so i want this way so i will say percentage m 
okay now i want year year in entire format i want okay like this so i will use a capital y so there are mul multiple ways to do it i'm going to show you so done now if i run this the output has come in 12 which is the date then the month then the year getting it okay this is quite interesting now what would happen if i make it uh let's say uh, d um m what would happen if i write if you write cap percentage m it's it stands for minute okay um let me see okay if i want in this format jan feb like this i want so for that i have to write percentage b so just copy from here and instead of percentage m i'm going to write percentage b now if you see this is this was the old output if i run this i'm getting a new output which saying july let's say i want the entire month again there's a format called percentage b okay so if i write a capital b here that gives me the entire month format if you see uh 12th july 2022 how about me getting a um, like we said tuesday and all that right sunday monday saturday or in this format so if you write a percentage a um if i write a percentage a let's go here i'm going to say percentage small a if i write percentage a look at the output is going to change so what happened tuesday 12th july 2022 so likewise if i make a capital a and run it it will say tuesday 12th july so all this are written here okay what whichever format that you need you need weekdays um uh, right uh, sunday monday how you want um or you want year in this format or two decimal right um so there are multiple different things you can experiment by using one by one by one and try to see how things are coming if i add a percentage h that means just give me an hour format let's say i'm going to add it here so this all this thing can be defined okay um sorry so it should all be within the double quote so here i'm giving a space and writing uh, percentage h so if i run this what would happen the hour would come in right you can see 11th that means 11 am okay if i want to format let's say i want a forward slash so i'll put a forward slash everywhere this is quite simple right second yeah. then I'm using a forward slash forward slash leaving that space and now if I run it what would happen the format would change in this way Tuesday so how you like you can you got to know right how do you can really change the format as you need so all you need to do is you have to just open the page keep it open and they the way you need the format you can simply check this out check these examples and depending on the example how you want you can really craft it up to your need okay so that that's simple it is all you need to know is trip time and then the symbols that one has to use for that you already have a page to refer you know by practice you will remember a few things in case you would like to refer it again you have, you always have a page to refer and write your own format of date time so thank you guys for watching it we are going to meet once again in the next content till then take care bye bye